How's it going everyone? I edited this video last summer, but when you're dealing with health issues, sometimes you just don't feel like finishing things. It was much longer, but I shortened it and finally uploaded it, so here it is. Today we have the ASICS Gel Light reissue, originally from 1987, but we're going to run through the five Gel Light mainline shoes first. We have to start with the first gel shoes that directly preceded the gel light. Japanese runners received their first taste of gel with the Japan only release of the Freaks Alpha model in 1986. And while Japan got the Freaks model, the US and Europe had to wait a bit for the drop of the GT2 model to experience gel. A tiger shoe with ASICS technology, the GT2 was all about that shock absorption. The silicone based alpha gel system in the rear foot and forefoot absorbed energy and proved to be 28% more effective than their rivals cushioning innovations. 1987 saw the world premiere of the ASICS gel light coming in at 9.9 .9 ounces. It was named for its intimidating lightweight. The new silhouette featured nylon mesh inserts and alpha gel technology under the heel. The shoe styling became the formula for the entire gel series. The gel light was all about Mr. Onitsuka's philosophy of better performance through better technology with tech features such as a tri-density midsole and anti-torque stability system. It was a very well loved shoe of the era. More like an upgrade than a sequel, the Gel Light 2 is incredibly similar to the original Gel Light, and even the technologies were similar. Released in 1989, the Gel Light 2 added some flashier color hits around the collar, along with a glossy polyspac 2 fabric and a molded internal PVC heel counter for stability. These things are never reissued, so don't look for them. 1990 saw the release of the Gel Light 3, created by ASICS footwear designer Mr. Mitsui. The shoe introduced a game-changing split-tongue design for a more contoured fit and better overall stability. Additional features on this shoe included a triple density sole and carefully positioned gel cushioning. The year 2007 saw the 3 return and a wave of collaboration releases involving designers, artists, and stores. The Gel Light Ultra, released in 1992, is the Gel Light 4. In Japan, the number 4 is considered unlucky, so they went ahead and named it after the Ultra Magnetic MCs. Nah, I'm just kidding. This design was one of the most dramatic changes in the series to date. The split tongue was gone, replaced by a sock-like monotongue. The addition of a P-gel or porous gel wedge in the forefoot, as well as rear foot shock absorption created a more comfortable ride alongside a wavy dual density midsole and an outsole engineered to flex with the foot like never before. The Gel Live 5 released in 1993 was a subtle progression for the series. The sole unit and sock-like mono stretch fit was back from the previous year's Ultra. It was more flexible, lighter, and more form-fitting, and had a sock-like neoprene slip-on core. Early October 2013 marked the reintroduction of the Gel Light 5 in the original white, purple, and teal colorway. These are reissued so you can pick these up anytime. The Gel Light was back on the shelves in 2017, so here we are. A few years late and a few years later and I grabbed a pair for nostalgia reasons. I had the originals as a kid in a glorious gray colorway. I'm not really a white shoe guy, but the price was nice. And at least it has some blue hits, teal, aqua, we'll just say blue. I'm not sure if the midsole is exactly the same as the original, but they do make a more expensive OG model that's Probably more of a one-to-one -one reissue. You might want to check those out if you're curious. Now, some of the colorways don't have the reflective inserts, but overall, the look and feel is very similar to the original. Sorry about the feet, guys. It is offensive. 
where the hell are my socks? Now if you're going to order these old ASIC shoes, go one size up or else your feet will be hating it and they'll be hating you for doing such a disservice to them. If you like old school runners, I think these fit the bill. Something different to rock other than Nike or Adidas. It's good to mix it up every now and then. Super cash. That's the word of the day. That's the word for these. ASIC serves up many of these classics today, but if you want the rare colorways, you're gonna need to do some work. Thank you for watching and thanks to these people.